cast here, last cast segment, with Dale Doorline, uh, radio show on 710 ESPN Seattle. Today on the radio show we covered side drifting for steelhead, also known as free drifting, or if you're old school like Nelson and I, boondogging. Boondogging. Uh, for steelhead, which is uh, the technique of basically fishing from a drift boat or a sled and uh, fishing from a moving boat. And side drifting. If there um, is a more effective technique for catching oh steelhead, I, I don't know what it is. Yeah, I mean, so, honestly. England, why don't you talk about how to get set up for this deal here? Well, you got the ideal rod, in my opinion. I like a longer rod, especially all the drift boats. So this is a this is a Lammy rod. It's a XMG 50. It's a 9.6, 6 to 10. If some guys like to go down as you know small as 48, but a 6 to 10 for me is a real nice range. Nine and a half foot rod. You know, you got the graphite handle here, which is very nice to grip, even in the cold weather. You put on here a uh, arid Daiwa spinning reel, okay? It's a uh, 2500 or even up to a 3000 series reel. Nice thing about that reel, when we were talking about this, yeah, it comes with point. two spools. It comes with a 2500 spool and a 3000 spool. So what I do is I load up the 3000 spool with my mono. This is 12 pound high vis mono. And then I put uh, braid on the on the smaller, the smaller spool, spool, so I can use the same reel for salmon and right, fall. right, and that, you know that's a nice feature that Daiwa offers. At least you know you can get that dual spool. So 12 pound uh, model, like you said, high vis, and we talked on the show earlier today. The high vis is an important one for the fisherman holding the rod because line angle is the key to successful side drifting, either out of a sled or a drift boat. And boat operator has to pay attention to that upriver angle and position of the boat. And it's all about dragging the presentation through the drift or through the slot. And you know, one of the biggest mistakes guys make, whether you're in the sled or the drift boat, you tell them to hit a spot and they always cast short. <laughs> yeah. You tell them, yeah. they, they see the seam of water and they want to throw it right into the seam of the water. Downstream. Downstream. Yeah, sometimes. Yeah. And, and I always try to remind guys, over, overthink it, man. 45 degrees upriver. Hit your spot beyond where the presentation is yeah. going to be. I mean, you got to throw this go. stuff into the stick. And if yeah, anything, on the shore, get if it anything, close to shore. throw it further up, yes. Yes. and then the guy running the boat can make some adjustments. Also, right. leave the bail open until the line quits coming off of there, or at least the line begins to sink. Then close your bail. Don't reel. Let the boat drag the slack out of the system and start dragging it. You know, when we have four or five, six lines dragging in a sled, I call it a bait rake. It you is. You literally have oh, yeah. a bait rake of lines coming down through the slot. We're going to run about a four, five, six foot liter. I like to cut them back to four, no longer for me ever than five feet. A four foot for me is good. Uh, snap swivel with either, we talked about it also, three different types of lead options that you can go with. You can use three sixteenths, solid core, you punch a hole in the end of it with your little pliers, mm -hmm. uh, snap that right in your swivel. That's kind of the go, that's the standard. Okay, and, you can and it's easy, easy. You can, you know, it's easy. inexpensive. What you, what you want to do is get yourself a box with di uh, some different compartments in it, uh, you might go down to one inch lengths, that's pretty small maybe for mm -hmm. summer and fishing. Inch, inch and a half, two inch, two and a half, maybe up to three, three and a half inches depending on what river you're fishing. Then you got different uh, different size leads in there and the key is to have everybody fishing the same size lead in the boat. You can also run slinkies. Yep. Uh, you might have slinkies with two balls, three balls, four balls, five balls, maybe even as many as six. And we're talking either fishing. 270 or 30 caliber balls. Yeah, 270, okay. pretty standard. Right. And then standard. lately, England, stick because lead. of you and our buddy yeah. old Herzog over yeah. there, that stick weight thing has been very popular, and that's kind of a new deal. Talk about that a little bit. It works very yeah. well for side drifting. You know, just the the way that thing is built on a rigid frame, as in a spinner wire, it just allows it to walk along a tap very lightly, either being drugged behind a boat or under a float, and it just doesn't get hung up. And the proof is in the pudding, as they say, to fish the hoe for an entire day and not lose a single piece of lead. That's Every huge. time I've been with you, That's huge. you yeah. have, the only time you've lost lead is if you accidentally <laughs> throw it in the trees. Yeah, it's or ridiculous. if it gets hung so, up in a rope. Well, those, those, yeah. those squirrels, they need to eat too. They do. You know, they they do. But, but I do want to make a point with regard to the use of lighter tackle. Yeah. If you come at life from a bank fishing angle, and who hasn't? Everybody started that way. This is a little lighter than you really want to use from the bank. The reason we use it in the boat is it allows you to use lighter leads mm -hmm. and really get a nice mm -hmm. drift. Natural but presentation. Natural yeah. presentation. Now, don't expect to stop a wild steelhead with this set up from yeah. the bank, but we can get away with it in the boat because we're playing these fish in a zero current situation. And you're moving. You're and moving you downstream with yep. them. You're yep. taking current out of the equation. That's why we can get get away with this Lama Glass 6 to 10 pound, and that's a killer mm -hmm. rod. And, and you know what? We used to use, we used to have cork handles. 
these composite handles. Man, it looks like a brand new rod. By the end of the season, I'd have egg goo yeah. up oh, and down the cork. Oh, eggs everywhere. Cork, nice thing you about know? this, you clean this thing off. It looks like a brand new rod. Brand yeah. New. Well, and you'd be surprised. A lot of people think this graphite's going to be slick to hold on to, but the way they pattern this on here, it has a real nice yeah. grip. Oh, it yeah. doesn't slip. Even if it's cold and your hand's cold, you still get a firm it's grip. It's got a very high grip shit coefficient. I want to back up real quick and that. talk about yeah. weight. We've talked about the options that you can have available in your boat to choose, you know, what size weight you're going to use. So how do I match that to the presentation I'm trying to achieve? It's not like drift fishing. You don't want to feel that lead constantly bouncing. You're not grinding you know, the bottom. You want to no. just have that natural flow bounce every so often. Doesn't need to drag constantly. As long as your lead's contact the bottom every few feet or so, you're in the zone. Yeah. And if you go more than that, chances are you'll be getting hung up a ton. So you know, keep that in mind. There you go. Deadly lethal technique uh, for fishing steelhead here in the Northwest. Winter runs. A summer on steelhead, yep. and I tell you what, if you if you want a great special right now over at Threers Marine, they've got a killer rod special, a Lama Glass X11, nine and a half foot spinning rod, uh, rigged up with a Daiwa spinning reel, spooled up, spooled up with Ready with Daiwa Samurai 20 pound braided line. A lot of guys are running braid actually on their side drifting rigs. Go over to Threers Marine, 109 dollars. That's about 40 dollars off. It's a 150 dollar package. Yeah. Go to Threers Marine. Also, they got a killer deal on Maximal Line. There you go. There, mention the outdoor line. They're going to spool up a couple of reels for you, absolutely free. So check it out, Threers Marine over in Woodenville. That's your last cast segment here on the outdoor line. Tune in next week to the outdoor line, 68 o'clock on Saturday mornings here on 710 ESPN Seattle. Thanks for watching.